Hello everybody, let me give you a tour of my small laser system. So this is a laser diode, 808 nanometers, it's near infrared and it has a whopping 2.4 watts power, which yeah, it's not that much, but still punch, can punch a few holes in plastics and stuff. Uh, the thing came, this is the, the diode itself, uh, this part I created it myself, I will explain, just to hold it, to, to make it easier to run some tests. It came with uh, its driver, the driver uh, is powered at 12 volts and uh, it came also with uh, a power supply for 12 volts and um, Basically, that's uh, and also I got this uh, protection goggles. Uh, you you really need them. Uh, it's really key that you use protection when you use the, this kind of uh, toys because they can be extremely dangerous for your eyes. So this diet has uh, some very basic cooling uh, systems system, and uh, it's just this fan uh, here behind. But I'm planning to improve that, and I received today. This, these are um, Peltier cells, I had four of them and not needing all of those for, uh, for cooling this thing. They are uh, a bit more than 90 watt each, so it's probably even too much. But, uh, well, uh, it's easier probably to, to trim down the power rather than uh, uh, struggling with not enough uh, power and they're pretty cheap anyway. And uh, I created this stand. This is a wooden construction with some glass here. Just because it is quite comfortable to, to place my targets, my specimens there to, to test. And I used this metallic thing with these different holes that allows me to change the, the position of the, of the diode itself which affects, obviously, the focus distance. Um, this kind of laser also comes with a lens that is focusable. I don't know if the light is good for that. Let me try it like this. Easier? Yeah. However, dealing with that um, lens there is not that easy. It's much easier to move uh, the whole assembly to, to basically change the, the focus distance. So now I will just use my safety goggles. Uh, it's important that the good material, you see they have protection on the side and everything because you don't really want that laser to, to get in your eyes. Also scatter the beams can, can be a problem. So 808 nanometers, I'm turning it on now. I have a switch here which actually short, uh, at this moment is shortcutting the TTL input of the driver. It has a TTL input to uh, feed the PWM signal if you need. If uh, the contact is open, there is a um, uh, pull-up resistor that uh, basically is forcing the signal high, so it turns the laser on. When you shortcut the two wires, the laser goes on off because uh, you are grounding the signal. Okay, so I'm turning it on now. I don't know if it is visible. I can't see it with my safety goggles. I hope the camera is able to. And as you can see, it's not doing much on the on the on the white sheet because uh, this kind of uh, laser is not really effective against white uh, surfaces. It can burn them, but it normally takes some time, so it's quite safe to work like this. But I'll show you if I have a darker surface, if I'm able to find the beam now, which is not, I think it's slightly on the right. There. You see it burns almost immediately. Obviously on the black surfaces is uh, way more effective. And from the size of the beam that you can guess from where the, um, let's say, the, the, the wood is getting, it's burning, basically, you can see the focus is not that bad. Hmm? I'll show you now with, uh, this is a fidelity card, it's a sort of credit card material. Uh, typical stuff. Uh, where it is blue it will react uh, much quicker there and I believe it's already made a hole also in the 
in the bottom uh, thing actually and I show you with uh, a floppy disk that's quite fast to punch a hole through, through that disk hmm. so and also maybe this as a reference it's a it's a key from a keyboard like this let me just get oh it was on my finger but it's not that powerful on the finger basically uh, especially if you're not perfectly on, on focus so it's not that dangerous but well you can see it's melting it quite quite quickly and I believe the correct uh, focus incidence should be a bit higher than this like this and the reason I prefer to have it a bit higher is that I'm using some samples uh, that they have some thickness basically so I prefer the focus distance being a bit higher you see like this I have no problem with my my hands anyway but if I leave it there probably it will hurt if I try to put this at this distance it's not doing much because it is uh, way out of focus well it takes some time that in the end it starts burning but it's not as fast as if I have it here there you see it's much quicker so that's basically basically it I hope you enjoyed